guys, so here we are once more talking about Lawbreakers. And this will probably be my last video talking about it since Destiny 2 releases tomorrow. And I'll be doing a lot of videos about that. That's kind of the problem, isn't it, though? That Lawbreakers may have released at the wrong time and it's effectively dead on PC. If you go to the Steam page, they're not even tracking it anymore. If you have to go, and you have to go to an external website to get the numbers of concurrent players in a 48 hour period. It's not even busted over 400. That's about the norm for this game on PC now. And I'm not trying to say this to be a dick. I'm actually a really big fan of it. I stream it every week and I talk about it with my friends, but with so many games that have established franchises going on, it's really hard to sell. However, I did buy mine on PS4, and it seems like just from personal experience I'm able to jump into matches, not only have and, and not have long wait times, so the player base is probably a little bit bigger. I can only assume that there's no real way of getting those numbers, though. They, these are not just the same players over and over again, though. Uh, it's different players with different matches, which is a good sign. Now, I don't like to say I told you so, but I kind of saw this coming from the last open beta we had. Where the player count wasn't even breaking 2,000, and for a free beta test, that isn't great. Really, I believe much of the problem stems from huge oversaturation of first-person shooters on PC, and even arena shooters on PC. Especially with things like Quake Champions out on Early Access right now on Steam, an established franchise that has a large fan base from other Quake games to draw from. And Lawbreakers, despite being one of the best shooters this year bar none, just couldn't muster the steam it needed to really shine. I don't know who really is to blame for this. You can blame Nexon for not doing enough to advertise it. You can blame Boss Key for not separating itself so much from competitors like Overwatch and Paladins. Who knows why this game is failing, but it's a real damn shame. Because, like I said, it's the best shooter of the year in my honest opinion. But it hasn't garnered a lot of views from me. It hasn't garnered a lot of views for other YouTubers either. It doesn't garner a lot of interest or hype, and that's tragic as well. Were I to suggest this to a friend, I would suggest they bought the PS4 version. Because I could see this hanging around for a while on Sony's platform, only because, maybe with the exception of Doom, there isn't anything else like this on the console. Hopefully it goes free to play soon, and people actually give it a chance and it breathes some life into it. For now, I'm stepping away from it. I will still stream it weekly, but it's time to turn my focus elsewhere, if my channel is going to grow at all. Tell me what you guys think. Let's have a discussion about this. I respond to every comment in my, section, in my, in my comment section below. Uh, remember to hit the like button, subscribe, uh, hit the little bell, you know, for notifications, all that jazz. And as always, it's Jesse James King signing.